Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we set up a super massive diluted fuel plant, where we're taking all of the crude oil, 3,450 of it, combining it with water here, and turning it into fuel to power our world. And now we're producing 9,200 fuel per minute, and we have to translate that into electricity through generators. And oh boy, we're gonna need a lot. As of update four, each fuel generator takes 12 fuel per minute to run properly. So if we have 9,200 fuel, that means we need 767 fuel generators. <laughs> oh gosh. And probably even more difficult is gonna be turning this thing into a proper looking factory. And hopefully we will. But if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like. But starting off with some good news here, we actually don't need to make like 800 fuel generators. We only have to make like 300 or so. Cause what we can do is we can overclock the generators, but we have to do it in a really weird way. 250% doesn't work. In fact, a lot of these numbers are super, super weird. What we actually have to do is overclock each generator by exactly this amount. Boom, 246.2289%. That way, each one makes exactly 300 megawatts and consumes exactly 24 fuel. So it's really weird. I don't know why this works out the way it does, but it does. But that means we can make 384-ish generators. So not bad. Little tiny bit better. <laughs> it's still an insane amount. Also cool math, but with every 600 line of fuel, of which we have 15 of them, how many generators can that run? So 600 divided by 24 is 25 generators per 600 line of fuel. Gotcha. Not too bad. So a lot of work to do still. We are going to build over here though, and we are going to reuse these fuel generators that are used for our old power supply system. So this is the same diluted fuel thing, except using the refining method, where you have to like package water and unpack it. It's a little ridiculous, and we're gonna be destroying all this and replacing it later. But the fuel generators are in the perfect spot. So we're gonna use them power sharded and bring the new fuel source into there. For now though, we need to make the big ol' platforms, brother. Oh, but you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, da 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 Oh, would you look at that! We have 13 here. So there's 30 on this side, and 13 on the other side. This is exactly what we need to do. We just need to stack this, like, two more times on top of itself, and then we have all the fuel generators we need. Bruh. Easy. Kind of. There's no smart mod yet. So, cry. <laughs> But luckily though, there is boopin'. Ah oh, yeah, at least we still have that. So that was relatively tedious, but we got 375 fuel generators built here. We need a couple more, but I'm not using our 200 line of fuel that we have extra. So there's 9,000 fuel going to be used here. I got a plan for the extra 200, but yeah. Everything's pretty straightforward. Every single one of these fuel generators is custom set to the number. All the pipes are in. And also, I realized that we have 26 fuel generators here. However, if all of them are overclocked, if we leave the last two just normal, then guess what? That's pretty much like 25. At least fuel-wise, anyway. So all of the generators should operate just fine on all the floors. Oh boy though, <laughs> lots to do. Okay, game plan though, is we're gonna have to hook up these two floors before we dismantle and switch up this floor down here. It's still our main source of power, so if this goes bye-bye, we go bye-bye. So yep, gonna hook this up. But the real question is how? Well obviously we just bring the 15 pipes from A to B, but we don't know the rest of our factory's layout yet. I want this place to look awesome. It needs to look grand. It's one of our main power plants until we get to nuclear. So it gotta look a little spicy spicy, you know what I mean? I wanna do something neat. Number one, which seems pretty obvious, is we delete all of the pipe work in here and we just have the pipes redirected to that way. Like, <laughs> why do we have the pipes go from there, have all the fuel transport over here, just to go back in that direction, right? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah. I would do that, except there's so much spaghetti here that it would take like 10 hours. So, negative Ghost Rider. 
So what we're gonna do instead is focus on other variables. Main one being is we need a train here. Our old plans of having all the fuel generators up here, well, they're kind of out the window. So the train there needs to come down onto this platform somewhere, somehow. And I think I might have a pretty good idea of what to do. Yeah, so I brought the train track now over up this cliffside, and we're just gonna scoot over this way, brother. Should be pretty good. And we end up right at the fuel factory. So now, let's actually bring up a cool little platform or something. Let's use, oh yeah, frame foundations. Then from the frame foundations, it looks kind of like it's staying on the level. It goes a little bit down, but it's not like a big drop off. And off we go into the factory. Good, good, and we continue this forward until we get a train station. And at the end of the day, of course, we're not going to build on top of the glass. So I guess the train station will be somewhere about right here. And there we go. We got ourselves a train station. So we're going to build this train station exactly like the train station we have at our temporary plastic thing. Way over there, because the point of bringing the train here is mostly to transport plastic and rubber back home. And then once this is all done, we can dismantle the old one, and we'll be left with this. And it should be a great time. Okay, and now we're getting something to actually work off of. Good, we have kind of like a centerpiece. Excellent. So, still don't know exactly what to do with the pipes yet. But I had an idea for over here at least, and that is to just destroy all of this platform. I don't know what I'm gonna build up here. A and B, dude, our factory looks sick. Why don't we just have it like kind of exposed? I left enough room here so we could have a wall built up right in the middle of the factory. So that's a nice avenue for decoration. That'd look great. As we're coming in, we can see all the stuff going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be super neato. So we don't have to decorate that entire side of the factory then. Easy. Meaning we'll have a big square here and a big square there, then the pipe's still to get through. Well, here, this is too much. <laughs> There's too many variables. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, let's think about over here. Well, this could have a different design. We could add the classic Kibbs feet to this. So we go and get the ramps, easy. And we just go every, I don't know, two blocks. And that could be a cool design. Anchoring the train station onto this. <gasps> oh my gosh, and I just had an epiphany. Okay, we have to build a control tower around here. We have power switches nowadays. We need to be able to control this whole factory from one place and you better believe it's gonna be a tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have the low end down here. Keep this at this height. Then yeah, a control tower or something over here. And that'll break up all the heights and stuff and that'll stand out and we'll be able to look over our creations. Oh, ho, ho. that will be awesome, dude. That'll be awesome. Oh, and then we could have batteries over here. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, it's all coming together. Just gotta kind of finalize some of the designs here. And then, wait a second, no, 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 the ideas keep flowing. We can have the pipes, wait, yeah, if we have a tower here, the pipes <laughs> can kind of like double back on themselves. I know it's weird, but stick with me. And they can go to the train station and run underneath. That way, if all the pipes end up here, we can do all of like the weird reorganization of them in a box, which we'll never be able to see, and then we can have everything nice and pretty at the other end to go into all the fuel generator lines. Dude, actual genius. Yep, we got all the pieces of the puzzle. Just gotta throw them together. So quick progress update, but all the platforms here have been destroyed. And check out these batteries. What do you guys think? Is this like a cool thing to have at the entrance? Like we're coming in with the train, we see this first? Yeah, no, maybe so? I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold on this yet. It, it's, maybe it needs some paint or something. I'm just gonna leave it there for a little while. See how I feel. It's a cool design though. We'll at least use it somewhere. Eh, maybe not here though. But I can show you what will be a super awesome design. So since we know all the pipes are gonna go underneath here, well, I took some creative liberties over at the fuel generators, where I've put all of the pipes like attached to the wall. So it's kind of like some weird creeping vines or something like that. So yeah, all the pipes go out, they start attached to the walls and they're just all over the place. And I've decided that these two tiles in the middle here will not be part of either building. So it kind of will be like an alleyway or something like that. Just a weird, strange place. We'll have some wires going around. We'll have walkways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be great. So that's the idea there. But okay, got to finish up the rest of this. Yeah, I'll think about the batteries still. Yep, thought about the batteries and they're gone. I don't know. There's just something about them that bugged me. So we're going to do something else in this space. 
As for the rest of things, all the pipes are coming up, moving over, and good to go pretty much. Build this in a bit so we have a bit of a platform. And also, I know you guys are gonna call it out. Why are there two empty pipes, kibs? Well, two of the pipes are empty because we have one crude oil pipe that's not going into the blender factory. Uh, that crude oil pipe is powering the rest of the generators through this dilution method. So yeah, once we're done over there, this pipe will be full. Everything will be fine. We've already tested it. All is good to go. All right. Next up, tower? Is it tower time? It's tower time. How are we gonna make a tower? What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna have all the power stuff up top, okay? And then how are we gonna build a foundation? We can't build the foundation the same as this because we've already used the kind of kibs legs there. So what if we go up a little bit? We just build a really thick foundation and the thick foundation will lead into the tower proper. Nice little corner there, couple little rampy boys. And yeah, that's looking all right. So then we transition from like the hard, dark colors of the ramps, something a little bit lighter, like these walls. We'll do the back sides of them there, all right. Then from there, we lead into red. So it's a little bit of a transition zone. Then the rest of the tower goes all the way up to wherever we wanna go, GG easy. Also though, with this control tower, we kinda need to be able to get to it without the hover pack or anything. Because by the time we actually need the control tower, it's probably because our power went out and we're in like panic mode. So we definitely wanna have like a walkway from over here over to there. Do we have foundations? We have the technology. So let's build like here, okay. And walk on to Electric Avenue. Oh my gosh, and we're gonna take it higher. Dude. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Platform across, GG easy. We can bring our power across as well that way. Awesome. And because we're two foundations high, a little chew can squeak under here, right? Oh, bud, just barely. Good, no clipping. And now for the rest of the tower. You know what, honestly, I think I'll just have to fiddle with it for like two hours or three. Yeah, probably three hours and see what I can come up with. Okay, so fun fact, it was only two hours. But we got something cool here. It's kind of like an airport tower, kind of, pretty much. Yeah, airport tower. And you might be wondering what's up with all the power plugs on there. Well, don't worry, they're gonna be deleted. It's just us using the hover pack to kind of fly around the tower and the range is so small that I just nubbed up the tower and called it a day. Okay, so we got the Miller Piddles, of course, on the corners to add some variety because the windows in the middle of the tower didn't make sense. Top is kind of like a cool lookout. Got our lookout platform. We can see the world and it's fantastic. But the interior is gonna be the coolest part, of course. So inside, we're going to have a major pillar going all the way down. This guy is gonna bring the power throughout the entire factory. I've cut through the floor or the roof, whatever you wanna call it, and made this little section. So at the end of the day, we can have all the little power nubs and separate grids attached down here. So we could have like a little thing here or a couple little things there. And each of these could power something else. Like that could go to powering the crude oil extractor, sure. This one can power like half of the blenders, like on the left side. And the other one can power everything on the right side. We can have another little nub going this way, maybe a little bit lower. And that ends up going over there to turn on and off the power plants, I guess? I don't know. We'll make up reasons to use more power plugs and switches, but this is pretty much like the gist of it. Also, it adds something to the ceiling of the factory in here. Like, bruh, you can definitely tell it's just a box. Like, flat ceiling, eh, pretty boring. But when you add in stuff like that, oh buddy, got some character there. So I like it a lot. Of course, this ceiling will look a lot better with the lights, but lights are like the last decoration we're gonna mess with. So continuing with the tower, we're also going to have a hyper tube. One of the first functional ones in the entire world, in fact. Just of course, because it is like super fast and uh, convenient. We'll have our main power line somewhere on here that will go and connect the power from this factory to the rest of the world. And that will go all the way to the top. Oh, wait a second, what are you doing here? You have to not exist. I guess we have to bring this all the way up. Okay, sure, possible, possible, kind of, not exactly. Gotta do a little this and that, because we have a fuel generator on the roof, actually. Why is it there? Because it looks cool. You only see the top part, so anyway, I digress. Got that working now. And yeah, the power nub will end up like right here. Okay, 
How do we get the hyper tube up to this floor though? That is a little bit more of a difficult idea. We can't bring it outside because then we'd have to cut out like a walkway. That would look bad. We can't go through the floor because clipping and strange stuff. Also, it's pretty important for us to get down into this area because we can fly with the hover pack, hopefully. And then we can finagle with all the wires. All right, well, seems like an easy solution. Why don't we just use walkways? Could we just go down with a walkway? A boom, bada. Oh, is there not enough room? Please, please. Huh? Huh? <laughs> There's technically enough room. And on all four sides, it might look kind of okay. No, okay. No, I'm trying to sell it to myself here. That's not going to work. Um. Oh, dudes, dudes, dudes. We have the technology. We have the technology. Behold, the inverted corner pipe thing. We can have this over here. <laughs> Look at that. If we have that on all four corners, it gives us our little way down. We can maybe put a ladder in there. Have this on that corner, this on that corner. And most importantly, we have room down here. So all Mr. Hyper Tube can scoot over this way. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's clipping for now, but soon it will be perfect. It just needs a little bit of finagling. Okay. Actually, we'll finagle it right now. Just have to bring this forward like literally two feet and we're done. So to there, up, easy. Okay, it needs more finagling. Let's not mess with that. Let's mess with the power switches because this is the interesting part. What are we going to power switch? Well, we can have three per side pretty much. All right. I have no idea what we can do with all these, but we'll try and use them all. And then on the front side here, of course, this is the most important side because this is the side we're seeing first. So this one is world power. So this power line will direct all of the power from the power plants to the train station because the train station is a power line itself, right? And that will bring all of the power to, you know, the world. So super omega important, easily done. Next up, let's just have this one be blenders one and then we'll have a blenders two on the other side. There we go. So in case there's a power outage, we can activate half the blenders first, let them rip. Then we can activate the other half of blenders as well. So we can kind of like tear the power on without going like full force, full power, letter rip kind of thing. Okay, so that's gonna be awesome. On the other side here, we obviously need a switch for the batteries to turn them on and off. Well, we don't really need the switch. They kind of turn on and off automatically, but hey, it looks cool. We'll have a resources, maybe like a raw resources or something like that. Yeah, so like oil wells and water wells can be activated. Sure. Uh, we're going to be doing some processing of rubber and plastic here because we're making 2,400 resin per minute. And you better believe we're using that, but we'll get to it in a bit. Okay, but you guys get the idea. We're segmenting all the parts of the factory into their own little power switches. I just quickly have to come up with some more ideas and then organize the power lines. And then we're good to go. Well, hopefully anyway, we're never gonna be testing this out if all things go to plan. So it's kind of just a pretty thing. Anyway, I tried to come up with ideas and yeah, we have oil and water, the blenders, plastic and rubber, blenders too, da 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 da. Oh, and fluid reserves. Yeah, 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 came up with that one as well. Uh, main thing though is I separated all of the power grids so everything goes to what it's assigned to here. And yeah, we can just turn on and off everything if we want. It should be a lot of fun. Got a ladder over there, like I was mentioning earlier. Fixed this as much as I could, and that's good. And I figured out what to do with that huge space in front of our factory, i.e. the fluid reserves now. So in case we run out of fluids, well, guess what? We have them all stored up, and we have hundreds of thousands of each main resource. So you know, if some unforeseen event happens and we need some extra fuel to plug in, boom, we got it. We got crude oil to plug in as well in case we need to get the blenders running. And we have some water as well for that. Things are still filling up, but yeah. Good to have this all here. And yeah, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. It also is a pretty cool idea that filled up space. So there we go, GGEZ. That tower though, eh? Oh, dude, looking fantastic. Love it. Oh, and then in the front there, I just added in some storage bins in case we need to build more pipes and stuff like that. Doesn't really matter too much. What will matter though, is getting this whole power plant online now. We have all the pipes where they need to be. Everything is ready, set to go. This is gonna be very strange. Hopefully everything works, no mistakes, no problems. 
I have no materials. What? They're building materials. Well, problem number one. Oh, problem number two. We need pumps going up here. Okay, hold up. <laughs> There's always something. There's always something. But hey, what's one more day of prep when we've been working on this project for like 20 to 30 hours? So, let's go! It's time to turn it all on. So, if you guys haven't done the math in your head already, well, we got like 375 fuel power plants. That times 300 megawatts should equal about 112.5 gigawatts of power. Yes, it's gonna be a spicy boy. All of which is all just to turn on our nuclear power plant. What a fun project. Anyway, <laughs> this is our current power grid right now. Use about 8,000 megawatts, easy. Capacity is about 20, and the max consumption is about 48,000. So this is gonna blow up, probably to like, I don't know, 60, 70,000 or something like that. Because we're only activating the first two layers of fuel generators. But once they're activated, we can activate the bottom layer and have a fully operational power plant. Unless something's broken. And there's always something broken, but things should be pretty much fine. So, let's just finish up hooking this all together, brother. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. <laughs> Amazing. Look at them pumps go. Beautiful. You know, I love how there are Mark II pumps, but dude, the Mark I pumps, I vibe with them. Oh yeah, and we're off. So around 8,000 production, now we're at 16,000. Oh no, that's consumption. Wait, production's at 33, 39,000 megawatts? <laughs> that's kind of funny. We're, we're up about the same amount of consumption as we are production. Interesting. <gasps> oh my gosh, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for the first time in our playthrough. We're gonna have higher power production than total consumption. And it might happen right now any second now hello what is going on oh all the pipes have to fill up that's what's going on yeah that's gonna take a long time honestly it's gonna be a bit can we at least see it now though please oh <gasps> it happened it happened it's right there it's right there we did it we're above the max consumption line we're in the clear finally we're in the clear oh it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous all right that's amazing. So, with this all hooked up and all the pipes filling up, the next step is to transition our starter fuel power plant over to the blender fuel. So all of this stuff down here, pretty much gotta go bye-bye. Except, not exactly. We got the resin over here now, right? We're making 2,400 resin per minute. And guess what? With the polymer resin, we can make rubber and plastic. The cool thing about the rubber and plastic, though, is that you just need a little bit of water in order to make the resin into the materials. Lucky for us, look at that. We got some water right there. We have refineries right there. Oh my gosh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You better believe it. We're gonna repurpose these refineries to make the rubber and plastic. The only question is, is there enough? I actually just don't know. What is that, 11? And then how many are here? Probably eight, if I had to guess. Well, I can guess wrong, there's nine. So that's 20 total refineries. That's a nice number to work with. Let's build one up here to do some testing. Not exactly sure of the ratios for recycling or residual stuff. Uh, 60 resin, 20 water, easy. And then 40 resin and 40 water. Okay, so 60 water and 100 resin makes 20 rubber and 20 plastic. Huh, those numbers seem pretty good. Oh my gosh, and I've done some incredible math here. So with our 2,400 resin, we can run eight residual plastic refineries if they're running at full clock speed. And then even crazier, we can run 12 residual rubber refineries. And this will all take 1,600 water, which means we have the perfect amount of refineries down here. But even crazier, we're making exactly the right amount of water. Isn't that wild? Yeah, six, 12. Wait, we're making actually a little bit more. So we can underclock these a little bit. Dude, that is actually fantastic. All we have to do is get rid of the packagers, the belt work here, and just revamp it. Wow, wow. I, oh, wait, wait, no, no. Uh, this isn't a surprise at all. I totally planned this whole thing. Of course, a uh, galaxy brain I, I've, I've seen into the future, like 14,000 different timelines. Yeah. Right on. So this is all super, super easy. Literally just had to bring the resin down, bring the water over again, done. 
easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Also, check this out. Isn't this wild? I have a cool little system for the polymer resin. So obviously the plastic and rubber and stuff will back up at some point. So we have a smart splitter down here, which has the overflow that goes through the front into an awesome sink. And then whatever is needed goes back into the system there. So I just combined some lines together and did a little bit of fiddling and there we go. Looks pretty neat too. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, also I like fuel. So you know that extra 200 line of fuel? Well, we brought that down here and we're packaging it into packaged fuel. So we can use it for our jetpacks, vehicles, I guess if we ever use those, and other things. Also storing up some empty containers because uh, future kids will probably appreciate that. And everything moves on this way, moves up the wall over there, and finally into the train station which I've extended a bit, so we can have the fuel, the plastic, and the rubber. Oh, rubber, plastic, fuel. There we go. Perfect. Dude, you know what's even more crazy, though? I had the perfect amount of space on this platform to move one platform forward with the train station here. And look at this. I never even realized you could do this. We have the walkway attached right to the train station. It's literally perfect. It's lined right up, baby. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, just a nice little detail there. And speaking of, I went through the entire factory as well as I was waiting for the fuel generators to back up. And I did some extra little spicy stuff out and around to make the factory look more complete. For example, filling out all the walkways so they kind of like make sense and stuff. And also I added in some zip lines so we can get up and down really quick to all the fuel power plants and stuff like that too. So it's a little wonky, but it works. And yeah, this alley idea. Dude, this worked out so well. Added in the walkway in there. We got the wires, the pipes. Dude, absolutely phenomenal stuff here. Oh, and the lights. Welcome to our new bright factory. I went through here, added in some lights, very plain lights just to the top, and it's gorgeous. Fixed this platform up a bit, added more lights, and look at this. It's just beautiful. This whole project has turned out perfect. Oh, wait a second. I didn't even show you guys the best part. So up here is where the train station used to be, but of course we got rid of that now, and I saved this spot as a beautiful viewpoint of the entire factory. So you can see it in all of its glory. And let me tell you, it is incredible. Probably one of the coolest projects we've ever built. Like, it's phenomenal. Everything worked out even better than I expected. All the walls are filled in. The design is like so neat, so organized. There's so much action everywhere. This doorway here with all the inputs going in and the outputs just up there. Oh my gosh. I I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's just so awesome. Oh, and then the cherry on top, quite literally, is that I took some of the fuel and pumped it all the way up the control tower so that fuel generator at the top that was just decoration actually is functional just for the meme and yeah it's absolutely crazy how far we've come literally night and day oh and of course power how we looking fantastic we are just hovering above the hundred thousand megawatt range so it's not fully powered on yet but come on a hundred gigawatts not bad. That should be enough to get our nuclear power online at least, and maybe last us an episode or two. So good project, everyone. However, though, I think that is gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, if you did, remember to leave a like. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs> <laughs>